Hi everyone, just want to show you this new solar panel I built here. The panel on the top was actually made a few weeks ago and the one on the bottom I just recently finished uh, about two days ago and I've just connected them together and also connected them in series. So this panel here has a total of 36 cells now this panel up here, these are two separate panels connected together. If you take a look at the back, they're two wooden boxed panels and I've just connected them all into this one panel. So, and they're connected in series and this gives me 18 volts. And this panel here, I already made a video on it. This one has a backing of uh, body filler and just spray painted white and the cells are just laid out. And this one here is slightly different, and I've made a new video um, on this one as well, on how I built this uh, wooden box panel. This one here I use fiberglass, short strand fiberglass. Um, it's for automotive uh, rust repair, and I've just smoothed it over the, uh, the wood on this panel. And the contacts just go out through the back on this one. Uh, this one here, they just come underneath the glass and go onto the top. So this design here is a little better. There's a little more room so I could do that. And I've just connected them to these batteries here. All these batteries are connected in parallel. Now the only problem is the wire coming from the panel is, is fairly uh, thin so it does warm up a bit and there's a few issues I have to change there. But these batteries are all charged up. This one here, green battery, this one and these two here. These, this battery here is an old one, it's a weak battery. This one also, um, but this one's a good one, uh, and this one. But they're all up to, right now, about 13.7. Um, so in probably another day or so, it'll jump up to over 14 volts. So I'm gonna have to hook up a automatic um, charger on this, a controller. You can buy those right at Canadian Tire, 20 bucks. So I've connected these two wooden panels together and this is now a 36 cell unit. So just like the store-bought ones, they come in 36 cell as well. And so this gives you a good uh, voltage for charging. And I'll just take a look at the wiring here. I just connected these two in series. And the wiring's pretty rough right now. Um, this is all gonna have to be attached with clips to the back and, and properly uh, insulated. And now I've had, I have a diode on here. You have to have a diode on the panels or um, what'll happen is at night, it could drain your batteries. Um, so you have to have a diode. It only allows the current to flow one way. So it allows the current to go to the batteries to charge them, but it won't allow it to come back into the panel. Uh, but unfortunately with this diode I have here, um, it can't handle the, um, the current that's flowing through here. So it was getting so hot that I had to actually cool it in, in some water. So I've liquid cooled this diode. Um, so I'm gonna have to change this up because this diode was so hot, when I dunked it in the water, it actually sizzled and, and steam came off. So that's a problem there. I have to get a heavy duty diode for this one. and. I have some, just some automotive plugs. These are just uh, automotive from random cars. This is out of a Firefly, uh, Pontiac Firefly. I, this one was as well. I have so many of these cars and wiring harnesses around. So, And they have the rubber seals in them. So uh, they are an okay plug to use, uh, but you could buy the proper uh, solar panel uh, plugs. So the panel here at the bottom is made up of a 2x4 frame and I've just used some chipboard for this one. Now chipboard is not really uh, the best material to use for this, you'd rather use plywood. Uh, but I just want to try it out because this is half the money uh, of plywood. So I've coated it with the fiberglass and I've also painted the back side, I've painted everything. I'm gonna do a recoat on this with this exterior uh, paint, just, just an outdoor paint. I had uh, lots of leftover uh, cans from, from different jobs. So I have lots of 
exterior paint. So it's 5.30 in the afternoon and I'm just gonna do a test now with a motor and see how it powers it. So I have my test motor here and let's just see how powerful this panel is. So it runs that no problem. Let's just see how powerful this is and put my hand on the thing. Quite a bit of power. So now I have a utility light. It's a halogen bulb. I'm not sure of the wattage of this uh, light. It's at least a hundred watts um, because it deads batteries really easily. Um, so we'll just turn it on, see what happens. Oh, there's a spark. And there we go. So it powers that light. And this light is hard to power on the panels, actually, the other panels I made, unless you have enough um, connected together. So you can see there's a spark there. It's amazing what these uh, solar cells can, can put out power-wise. And the wire's starting to get hot in my hands, so. So it powers that halogen light. So I've hooked the solar panel to this um, 18 volt cordless drill and I just shoved the wires in there. Let's see what happens. So it powers the drill. There's the high speed and the low speed. And it's got quite a bit of power. Um, not quite as much as the battery, uh, but it works fine. Now the reason why I built these wooden box panels is because I started running out of glass and now this only uses half the amount of glass uh, but I do like the the um, the two pieces of glass that are bonded together because I think that will last a lot longer than these wood panels and another problem is is the wood uh, will expand and contract um, it's a few percent so it's probably a lot better just to use the two pieces of glass. But I'm trying out this panel here. I'm gonna try out, see how it works. And I may even put some sort of tin around the wood area to keep any water off of the panel or off of the frame. And I'm gonna continue building different types of panels, uh, designs anyway, using different materials to see which one uh, works the best and lasts the longest. Well, that was just a look at the uh, homemade wood framed solar panel. Thank you for watching.